lesson essentially here on um, how to create a bid <clears throat> or from an estimate that we've gone out and, and done and how to send it back out to the customer. This over here on the left-hand side is just basically any um, estimates we've put together um, that we sent out to the customer. Uh, these little notes on the side here, pending approval, we've actually sent it then to the customer through the system, through the software system um, that they can then approve at that point, which we won't get too far into right now. Uh, new estimate, basically click on the plus here to create that new estimate. Title the project, we're just going to put in something simple here, um, Brett Patio. Honestly, what do we try to do with this? You know what it's going to be, a little more descriptive. That way it's easy to look it up when you get there. Select the contact on here. Um, this is going to pull up a customer list. Typically, this is a lot faster. I'm not really sure why this is moving so slow. So customer list will come up on here, basically scroll through to find the customer. In most cases, you're going to need to add a new customer. Um, if the lead has already been put in here, which this is the plan, is we're going to be putting leads in on the front end for you, so therefore you'll have them already pre-populated in here. So you basically go down, pick the person at that point. We're just going to put this in here. Um, we always set an expiration date on these. That way we're not doing projects for the same price six months down the road or the next year. I always put 30 days on them. So February 26th, we're going to March 26th. I don't really care if it's a Saturday, <clears throat> Saturday or Sunday. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I'm going to go back to this. That way, if you do create a uh, customer that does not uh, already have something on here, simply just add customer, company name, if there's a company, or uh, this information on here. I'm just going to use my information that's on here. Go in, save it at that point. I need to put a phone number. Save it. Customers entered. So you either have it pulled from a current customer list, a lead list, which in most cases will be the lead list, or you're creating a new customer there. Okay, so we're populated there. Uh, my next thing I go to is items on here. Very simple with this. A lot of this stuff's pre-populated already. Import cost items database. Import from cost items database. So in other words, all of the stuff we've created already. So you're going to get a pop-up screen on this. So real simple, like stamped concrete patio. I have multiples on here because sometimes people are bidding two patios at the same time. In some cases, they may have a fire pit patio and one next to their house that they want to look at. Um, and the way this thing sets up, I can't pick the same thing twice. So I may have to add it with two different of the same thing on there. In this case, I'm just going to put this one in here. You see it shows up over here on this side. If they talked about doing a border with it. Um, stamp concrete border and save it. It's going to populate down here. I'm going to go into this, and this is something to kind of uh, take note of here. Very seldomly will we do a per square unit price on these, mainly because there's so many differences, differentiations between uh, 400 square foot patio in one person's backyard to 400 square foot uh, patio in the back of someone else's house. And uh, the sheet, that the Excel sheet that you'll be able to input data in will help you come to those numbers on there. But either case, I'm going to put in here, it's a 300 and say it's a 325 square foot stamp patio. I put that down there. It's a one item quantity. My calculations get me to the total number is um, $6,175 for that. All of this information's down here. This is a pretty standard setup based on how we do these things. I save it at that point. It shows up. There's one quantity. This amount totals there. My border, I'm going to go in. Uh, same thing. If you know the linear footage on here, let's say it's 50 foot of border. Put that up there. I can just put it in here if I want to, but here's the thing. Same deal. There's some borders going to be different than others. we got to kind of look at... Like, how intricate are these things based on what we're doing? 
I'm just going to put this in there for simple math. Then your feet is my unit, 250 is my total. Um, the description, textured, tooled border with secondary color. That's if that's the case. There's also, in this example, there's border options with same color border, smooth border in there that are populated as well too. So there's my total. Very simple with that. I've got everything in here. You've got to make sure there's a quantity on all this. Otherwise, it will not give you a total number. I save it. So it shows up on here, kind of where I want to be. One other thing I really look at here is terms. It's already pre-populated to show up its default, which shows all of this stuff, basically all the pieces that need to be addressed. I go to actions down here on the right, view or email, PDF, select the template. With residential, I always pick detailed with descriptions because they're going to want to know what all stuff is going on with this thing. So it's going to give you a quick little... Um, update on here. So, customer, service address. Again, shows you everything you need to know on this. Walks you through. Here's the total. You scroll down. You see the secondary page. It shows all this stuff. And I'm just going up here. When we send this out originally, we don't submit for approval. We just email the PDF. It'll pop this screen up on here. Again, for some reason, the internet is really slowing this thing down. In most cases, that customer you just put in there will be selected over here on the right-hand side. That's good. CC to your email. That way you know it goes through. If not, pick the customer screen on here or the lead screen, depending on where you're pulling that from, and just type in the, the start of the name, and you'll find whatever you're looking for on there. Hit Next. And we've basically pre-populated an email in here that have links to it and things like that. So you gotta just pay attention. So again, first name, thanks for, for the time with me this week. Um, if it was yesterday, you met with them, change this. Great place there. I had a chance to sit down and put this together for you guys. I want to get it back ASAP. Things are pretty straightforward for this right in our wheelhouse. This is the next thing you modify. This attached quote includes, I'm just going to leave it as is because this has been kind of slow, the stamped concrete patio in the back. And again, there are a couple options for the deck and old patio. Um, if anything else, let us know. Um, real simple with that. Uh, again, the rest of this is pretty straightforward. They're using patios, so here's a link to some patio options. This shows some different patio options. Here's a link to the process. It shows, again, the rock we put in the rebar, things like that. Here's a link to explain how we build driveways. We're not building the driveway in this case. So just highlight it, delete it. Thanks again for your time. We'd love to help with this project. Let me know if there's any questions you have on this. We look forward to hearing back. And obviously, your name is going to be at the bottom. We'll create signatures. And then all I do with this is just send. It'll pop up here on the right-hand side. That everything went through. It was sent successfully. You're able to close out of this screen, close out of pretty much anything you have open on there, and then go back and recreate um, an estimate from there moving forward. So, again, pretty simple. Select the customer or create the customer, whether it's in the customer or the lead column. Auto populate your or populate your um, things from the cost item database on there. If there's something really random, you can create a new one from a manual drop down on there, which I'll show you here quick just so you can see it. Your items. I've already sent this, so I can't open a backup. It's locked this. I can go back and unlock this. See, I've sent it so it's pending approval now. If I want to reopen it, I go to bidding, save it under bidding.
Again, usually this is fairly simple when the computer moves a little bit faster. This is ridiculously slow today. I'm back into here. Go to items. Same thing down here. If I want to do a manual item at that point, what's the item with this? Is it material or labor or other? We don't really use any of the equipment or the subcontract, to be honest with you. Um, what's the quantity? What's the item cost? How's the units measured? We're not doing markup percentage on there. It just creates more complexity to how they read the, the, the uh, estimate at that point. And if there's any details that can be added, you just save and close it at that point. Pretty simple stuff. So, again, that's your basics behind creating an estimate.